Let's take a look at a couple of examples. So Bob earns £120 in a week and he spends three tenths of this amount on scratch cards. How much does Bob spend in total on scratch cards? Well, Bob spends three tenths of £120. So we're working out a fraction of an amount. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide by the number on the bottom. We're going to take our total, divide it by the number on the bottom and then multiply it by the number on the top. So £120 divided by 10 multiplied by 3. 120 divided by 10, that's nice and easy, just chop off the zero. 12 times 3 is £36. So by dividing by 10, we've worked out what 1 tenth is. So 1 tenth is 12, so therefore 3 tenths is 3 times that amount, which is 36. Again, you don't really need to fully understand the logic as long as you remember, divide by the bottom number, multiply by the top number. So we're ordering fractions from largest to smallest. And again, we have the number on top the same, but the numbers on the bottom are different. So again, let's just have a little think about this. Let's use some logic. What is bigger, a quarter or one half? We know four is bigger than two, but is a quarter bigger than a half? Well, let's think about it. Here is half of a pizza. And here is a quarter of a pizza. So a half is bigger than one quarter. So the smaller, the lower the number on the bottom, the bigger the fraction. So the biggest fraction is going to be the one with the lowest number on the bottom. So the biggest fraction is going to be one seventh. The next biggest is going to be one ninth. Then one fourteenth. Then one eighteenth. And then one twenty fifth. And we're done.